a bit underprepared for this quick tip, aren't we? Pin spade. Because it lives in the bucket of water. Right, quick little tip. It's clever. That's gonna make a good shot. Yeah. Right, on this humid day, it's uh, coming up for three o'clock, so we're putting a sneaky half. There we go. We've got two cores in, and we've stuck a damp on. Even though there's no damp in the rest of the building, we've even bedded the damp on. For all those people who don't like us not bedding the damp, yeah. So set out level. We're just going brick for brick at the moment with the fixed brick pumps. <laughs> Great little invention then. Saves us putting corners up for now. Once we get up half a dozen or so, we can put the intermediate profile on tomorrow so this is just to get us a start but they're, they're great just put a brick at each end clamp it on and run it in don't even have to check your bond fix your bond at the end that's it all down end of day one yeah so uh, that's got us a good start for tomorrow so we'll get here eight o'clock tomorrow and get cracking see you in the morning morning Morning. But it's weird seeing you on this side of the camera. Mm. Right, so recap from yesterday, we've uh, demolished, got the whole wall down and we've got five courses up as a nice head start for today. Luckily, uh, we can just nail up a, uh, a wooden profile here and this side we're just going to use the Fitz, uh, the Fitz brick clamps, which, bloody lifesaver. Great. Yeah. The corner. Well, yeah, no, profile up. no corner, no profile, just one brick at a time, string it's it in. It's not being plumbed, we've got to put a line up from the face board to the brick and follow it. Get a nice straight line up to there because it's not plumb. That's that's even worse. So we're just following, that's that's the plumb line, that's the line we're following. So we hit that face, the, the soffit. Yep, that's yep. it. Mixes on. Mix is on, we've got our tyres ready. Just gonna put my boots on and have a make a brew. Yeah, there's the tyres. Priorities. The tires Tiny fit system, external wall and across here. And of course in here too. Yeah. 
every six. Ties go on. So uh, don't worry, there's ties going in, there's your evidence. Yeah. Got 50. And we've got a makeshift uh, squat board since, yeah. we, since we've got it. Oh yeah, guess what, we've got the squat board. Shocker. We always forget something. Yeah. Uh, right, let's, let's get going. Right, this is another one of our quick tips. A few people have been asking about this. This is our little nail up profile that we use when we're when we working up to a wall. It's the house, anything like that. Mark your, mark your line. Is that pencil line there? Put your timber about 10 mil back, so you can see your line. Just pass me a tie wire. Huh? Uh, tie wire. Well, one of those ties. Tower behind just as a spacer. Don't forget, you've got to get your line in there. Hmm. So that stays in. Um, that's not too bad actually, already. A bit of a bit wavy. So this goes in. Solid. I was using the big nails because I thought it was lime mortar, but this has been rebuilt, this is sand and cement. So no one would put masonry nails in there, so they don't do that. But that seems to be holding okay. So when you put your line up... Yeah, we've got one. We're a bit underprepared for this quick tip, aren't we? I'll let it all this out. The main thing is the line. Obviously normally when you put your line in to your wall, you come off the top of the line like that. But when you're coming off this thing, you come off the bottom. I hope that doesn't pop off. That's it. So your brake fits underneath, your, your pin's not in the way. And that's it. You just put it up and away you go. Roll a bucket, mate, fits brick. We use this marvellous invention. Well, I just clamp it on, pull it tight ish, clamp it down twice, oh, and pull it. That's done. Right, back after the long break, because these bricks are very wet, so I've given them a chance to go off a bit. How are you doing? Some of them are still wet. Yeah. Have to be careful, not blending the dry ones. Yeah, luckily, big house next to us, so we're in the shade. It's going to be shade for probably up till dinner time. Nice and cool around here. Yeah, there's our line we're following. Up to the soffit. Our pencil line at that end, and plenty of ties going in.
these are a bit stiff because these bricks are very wet, whereas these are very dry. So they end up tough going down. this what we're on now 17 course yeah tie wires next course so go back on time lots for a bit in here now it's 21 on just unloaded coming on nice yeah we're getting there so we'll just probably have a little bit to top out on that on Tuesday and that door to build so we're both back Tuesday so Come get our dinner now. Get back to it. Clean spade. Because it goes in the bucket of water. Thank you. 
day two done. Not quite the which we weren't supposed to be anyway. That was the plan. Finish that pike off on uh, Tuesday morning while Alex is blocking that door up. I think we're going to be out 20 bricks short, standard. So we'll have to go and pick them up Tuesday morning. There we go up under the uh, purling. Won't take long to throw that in. Now I've got three more tyres to go in. Out here. One, two, three. Might even put one at the top there. That's it. Going home. Long Sunday. I'm back out working tomorrow. Alex is having the day off. Go in the pictures. Back at the job. Alex is just getting our blocks round. 45 lights. Just a quick one. This is um, it's one of mine. This wall. This was pushed over by trees. So it must have been 12, 13 years ago we dropped this, cleaned the bricks and rebuilt it. Still looking nice and straight. Mix it on. Very ready to go. That was his water. We've got brought our extra bricks, so we've got plenty of bricks to finish now. So I'll be up there doing that after I've helped Alex get this door out. Once this door's out, Alex can get cracking on this. Right, um, I think we just go on time lapse for this. Right, we're inside. Doors off, we get the frame up yet. But as you can see, it's been extended in the past. See the different colour spars. But Andy, the roof has been in, put new purlins in, uh, re battened it, felted it, and he's covering his tile, well, slating it at the moment. Uh, that's the wall we're bricking up behind. So we just need to get this frame out now. Hope that doesn't fall on our heads. Put the hard hat on, but um, yeah, that's it. It's, um, I'm ready to go. We'll just get all it set up. So, it shouldn't take much to get off. Oh, that, 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 that bit above there is budging. Yeah. It's only those three courses though. Yeah. We could just use the old bricks to do that, couldn't we? Oh yeah. These ones we've uh Yeah. Timber frames like that anymore. Uh, door frames.
Two skins stood up then. Yeah. And we're back. Change your plan as you, as usual. You just got to go with the flow and work with work with what you get. So that's got to be replaced now because that was all loose above the lintel. There's where the jogger went in. See the brick cut on an angle. So we can't put the blocks flat because the frames that set that far back, you're going to have a big gap here. So we're going to put a skin at the back and a skin at the front. That should be okay. So um, Alex is going to get set up on here. I'm going to go up there, finish that, and then drop back down here and help Alex. Then we can ditch the line now. <coughs> Those bit, fit the brick clamps have been fucking brilliant. Superb piece of kit then. Right. Oh. Get a bit of 
joints and done. Drill, please. Just give me a minute. Can't go any higher than that now, otherwise, I won't be able to drill it.
the shoe. Right, we've just had our dinner. We're probably running a bit late now because we've still got to get to this other job this afternoon, but we just have to work on and get that done. That's Alex all done. I've done all the cuts ready for this skin, so I'm going to do this while Alex gets all tidied up. Bit of a mess at the moment. So, all blocked up. All the loose bricks have been taken out. And all bricked up nice and safe. So, come around to my bit. And it's very hot today. I think it's meant to be about 27. So, thank God I got that done before the sun came round. All done. See, that side's all got the soffit on, that side hasn't. So, just guess that. As I say, it's not flung. We followed that and we strung a line up to the soffit, but it's nice and flat. Plus, was made up with the bricks that we picked. I think they do look smart. A new brick with the old look. They're called Snowy Commons Smooth 65mm. I think they're pretty easy to get hold of. And they're not expensive either, they're quite reasonably priced then. Yep. All done. So, I think with it just been blocking the door up, we'll just time lapse this. And then we'll have a quick quick walk round when we're all done. See you in a bit. Right, quick little tip. Right, right, obviously this has got to be set back for the render. So I've got a batten, flat piece of timber, don't know what that measures, probably about an inch. And then we'll just range it in. And that'll give us our distance back, save measuring all the time.
and we're done. Double skin block work, done. Nice and tidy. And the injury, right the back of the garage. Doesn't look so nice when you're picking them brick up, they make a nice job when you see them all in. So, that's what's done on this one. Off to the next one to go and finish that off. So you'll see that in another video.